like imagine you're watching a, a diamond player play an iron and they're and they're asking you for feedback like what can i improve on coach and you say i don't know because you're not facing adequate resistance if that makes sense um i can't give him good tips on what to improve on because his strategy this game is so much further than the enemy teams that it's a stomp strategy wise the enemy team's not pressuring us to make mistakes let me give this as an analogy as chess i can play like against the weakest computer on lee chess and now if i asked a grandmaster to review and tell me how to be better at chess they'd have no idea what to say because this computer sucks it's going to make tons of mistakes and i won't be pressured into situations where i'll make mistakes if that makes sense like this bot's just gonna hang its queen at some point right because it's like stockfish level one like it does really dumb stuff like you can probably just like attack a knight and it just hangs the knight and then you're like case in point i'm pretty sure this is just terrible for the bot yeah and now i'm up material and then you're like oh coach how do i improve from this chess game and the coach just has to go i don't know because you're not facing an opponent who challenged you this is brimstone bind vod you've prepped you've learned from my videos great you're playing great but your enemies are diamond two and they suck and so you're not being pressured to adapt if you enjoy the content don't forget to like subscribe and join my official discord over at discord.gg woohoojin here you can enter free raffles to win free vod review live on stream you can also support me with a premium membership, which unlocks access to private VCT restreams, professional player analysis, shared professional strategy channels, and much more. Enjoy the video. Oh no, he's a controller player. There's a 1 in 7 chance we're about to do Brim on Bind. <laughs> Why is it always Brim on Bind? <laughs> it's always Brim on Bind, dude. <laughs> Yeah, at this point, I don't know why anybody submits a Brim Bind VOD. Do you really need advice on this map when there's like 17 of these on my YouTube? Let's take a look. Uh, can someone come showers with me? No recon from the enemy team. This comm's no good. You just said, can somebody call an ambulance? We don't know who's going to call an ambulance. Pick one. Yo, Reyna. You come showers with me? Hey, Reyna's coming. We got lucky. Hey, we win the round. Okay. Nice round. Yo, he's hard, hard left, hard left. Hard left, uh, guarded. Smoke now. <laughs> These guys in his smoke. Yeah. He's in the smoke with the, with the shorty. Yeah, this is an awareness thing, but we get the trade because we have too long. And we win the round. Bro, why are you submitting a bind VOD? Terp, you're doing literally everything right on offense. Why are you submitting this VOD? Are you just trying to flex that, yeah, I watched every Brim Bind VOD on YouTube? You don't want to learn another map? You'd rather just get even better at Bind? Like, look at that. We get three. Good eco. Nice try. Recommend sending best VOD. Yeah, on like a map you want to learn and an agent you want to learn. Wait, let's pretend on bind you have an 80 percent win rate and then on the other maps you have like a 30 percent win rate like well he says best vod and you submit a bind vod what do you want me to tell you it's a good round what, the, what do you want you're playing it right you've learned the map you're you haul off the bat and we just run at them i'm gonna be alting you haul off the bat open up the we're sending three showers to the U-Haul! Good! I don't even care we lost the round. The plan was good. Strike one. You are doing too well. <laughs> no, no, but it's like um, like a diamond player submitting a vibe while they're in gold. Like, if you remember when I reviewed Whoops and I recognized that he was simply underrated, I told him to play 50 games and sure enough, he gained like 500 RR. You're submitting a bind VOD where you're underrated on this map. Uh, I'm curious. If we check our recent bind stats i guess we haven't played it much yeah 13 to 2 win win our past three bind games have all been wins and then this one i lost quite a while ago before the bind brimstone youtube tarad begun like you're not losing on this map and i'm not surprised their offense looks great so well, let's check our defense the yeah, pooks has a 90 percent bind win right now <laughs> seven five apparently i'm not results oriented i measure our performance like how we approach the game you approaching the game well doesn't mean you win the game. Uh, let's just fight for showers control jet, okay? 
But I was very happy with our bind playbook on offense to a point where I'm convinced it would not hold us back at all. Uh, that round is pretty much chill. Uh, if you're starting with three smokes on bind, then I usually expect you to use one off rip right here. Otherwise, I don't understand completely the purpose of buying that third smoke. Um, because with two smokes, is that's all you need to like smoke a side off. So I probably have gone something. I, I usually do go the third smoke, but I, I use it right away. Mind. Yeah, now here actually the smoke is a bit worse because we're on economic advantage, but it's fine. Okay, are we about to see our first heckin' macro mistake? Yeah, our showers oh. control just got a lot weaker. Yeah, everyone talking about like the seven five thing. You're too worried about the result. You saved me, thank you. That's a short one. I can tell you for sure that if this guy only played bind offense, like somehow the matchmaking only put him on bind offense and it was first to twelve or whatever instead, and he never switched sides, he'd be immortal. I hope this was worth your time, man, because I don't have much to say. Your bind is good. You're, you're not going to learn much from this review. They're coming, eh? I'm gonna, go ahead, I'm go ahead. Go 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 yeah, like they're coming, eh? You're talking to showers? This has to be a troll review, right? Yeah, he's, he's doing he's everything right. Planted. This, like, imagine you're watching a, a diamond player play an iron, and they're and they're asking you for feedback. Like, what can I improve on, coach? And you say, I don't know, because you're not facing adequate resistance. If that makes sense. Um, I can't give him good tips on what to improve on because his strategy this game is so much further than the enemy teams that it's a stomp strategy-wise. Like, our only lost rounds is like luck-based. Like, it's you can't win every round. And sure, we took an orb in the middle and died. Oops. That's such a minor mistake, though. The enemy team's not pressuring us to make mistakes. Let me give this as an analogy as chess. I can play, like, against the weakest computer on Lee Chess. And now if I asked a grandmaster to review and tell me how to be better at chess, they'd have no idea what to say. Because this computer sucks. It's going to make tons of mistakes. And I won't be pressured into situations where I'll make mistakes, if that makes sense. Like, this bot's just going to hang its queen at some point, right? Because it's like Stockfish level 1. Like, it does really dumb stuff. Like, you can probably just, like, attack a knight, and it just hangs the knight. And then you're like, case in point, I'm pretty sure this is just terrible for the bot. Yeah, and now I'm up material. And then you're like, oh, coach, how do I improve from this chess game? And the coach just has to go, I don't know, because you're not facing an opponent who challenged you. See, I'm just winning now. Because the they blundered. That's this Brim bot. That's this Brimstone bind bot. You've prepped. You've learned from my videos. Great. You're playing great. But your enemies are diamond two and they suck. And so you're not being pressured to adapt, to adjust. You're just winning. And so I can't give you good advice. All right, we lost this round. Let's see why, though. We got showers control. What, we lose a 50? <laughs> yeah, we lost a 50. I like the play. I would have tried to keep our jet showers. You know, Evan's Gambit, Stockfish, and Opening Principles? What's your chess rating? I hope that analogy made it clear why I can't just give him advice from this VOD, though. Especially for you chess players. Because you're like, oh, Ujim, why aren't you telling him how to get better? Because I don't know. The enemy team's not doing anything to challenge us. Like, did you feel? do you feel uncomfortable on this map at all, Terp? I'm curious. Or do you feel really comfortable on Bind? Because it looks like you're really comfortable. Like, really comfortable. You don't feel comfortable playing the map knowing the theory? Really? What parts make you uncomfortable? Because I'm watching this vibe back and everything looks really good. What scenarios feel bad? When I miss, it feels fucking awful. <laughs> no, no, Bapple Trees. This is not what uncomfortable looks like at Diamond. Serious question though. Score lines 10 10. Why is the game so close? Brooke, there's four randoms on his team and five randoms on the other team. Us playing correctly doesn't necessarily win us games, especially in Diamond. I would lose a game in Diamond. This round, we gave up showers control. The problem is, I think you know that because you've seen enough of my brimstone bind reviews that like at this point right here, you know, you need to get showers and we're too slow to take the control. It's like, you know what happened? We have showers control, but it feels bad contesting the plant. Perfect. Let's take a look. Now, this is a stinger round and you, you get a free kill if I recall correctly. Wow. Oh no, your guy. What feels bad about this? Can you elaborate? You say it feels bad. What part feels bad? The part where they get railed? Here we go. This round's definitely our worst one. 
Um, and this one should feel bad because we didn't double showers and our teammate died heaven. So of course this round felt bad. It doesn't feel like the strategy was doing it, but more of our Reina's mechs. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you other than you're wrong. <laughs> like, look, like what part of this? This is two. This is one. You're statistically winning. And then, yeah, your Reina's got good max and she hits the shot, but that doesn't matter. You, the position you found yourself in is great. I can't watch this VOD. You're doing everything right. You're playing against, you're underrated in this VOD. Like the stats might not tell you that story, but you already know. I, I don't look at stats. I look at how we actually play the map and your bind is great. Please do not bring a bind VOD next time. <laughs>